Get ready to discover answers in the Bible with Bayless Conley. You know, in the book of Acts in chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost, Peter preaches Joel's, or he pe preaches a sermon, but he quotes Joel's prophecy. In the last days, says God, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Three generations all being empowered by the Spirit together. The outpouring of the Spirit touching and affecting three generations, all of them operating in the gifts of the Spirit, working together, and of course it all funnels down to this, which Peter also quotes, and it shall come to pass that whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the idea, God's idea in these last days, in the church age in which we're living, in this generation in which the baton has been passed, that we have three generations working together, empowered by the Spirit, to bring in this last great end time harvest. And if you take away any one of those generations, if you take away any one of them, we lose our edge. We lose our effectiveness to reach a lost and a dying world. You see, it's Abraham resourcing Isaac, Isaac releasing Jacob, and Jacob in turn revering Abraham. Three generations working together is God's idea and God's plan and God's most effective method for reaching a lost and a dying world. 